Okay, some scientists are actually calling for tougher regulations after a recent study found some fast foods in America contain potentially harmful chemicals. Now, researchers at the George Washington University say chemicals used for making plastics are particularly widespread. Well, legal journalist Molly Barrows, Consumers America's lawyer, joined us now with more on this study. Molly, I mean, the fact that we're even having to put regulations, you would think they would already exist. So tell me, which foods specifically were tested this time, and what did researchers find in them? Well, I tell you what, Scotty, it's not like fast food is known to be such a great healthy meal anyway, but if you had a reason not to go, this just adds to it. So they went to 60 fast food, different, or tested 60 different fast food items, and they found 10 of 11 potentially harmful chemicals. And these are chemicals that are used to make plastic soft. Most of them are folates, and it's a group of chemicals, again, that are made, known to make plastic soft. And they can cause different health problems, including disrupting the endocrine system. Um, and they also found like replacement chemicals for these folates. And uh, more than 80% of this food contained folates, more than 86% contained those replacement chemicals called plasticizers. The highest levels were found in meats like cheeseburgers, chicken burritos, put down that burrito that could have some chemicals in it. Cheese pizzas also high in those chemicals, but they had the lowest levels of them. So none of them are exactly good for you, but across the board, it was a lot of the more popular items that you're gonna find through the drive throughs of these more popular restaurants. Okay, so Molly, why are there such high levels of these chemicals associated with plastic? You know, it's interesting. A lot of it has to do with the packaging, the stuff that they're so basically it's put in, wrapped is what in, it's doing. cooked in. It's absorbing as also the gloves. The researchers tested several pairs of unused gloves that are identical to the ones that they use to handle this food. And they found some of those chemicals in those gloves as well. So it has a lot to do with how it's packaged and how it's handled. But this isn't just a problem with food. It's just about in anything that we use. There are chemicals that are both good and bad in these chemicals, none that are necessarily good for you per se. But you know, it, it, what's right. interesting about this is that they know that a lot of these plastic type chemicals are, are an issue. And yet they allow them to go forward anyway because they've got these replacement chemicals that haven't been tested extensively oh so it's, which one do you want worse is kind of my, my thought with it it's it's the it's the mick right. evil take your pick which bite you want to have but here's my my thought and my question for this one you know we talk all the time about roundup and other other we see johnson johnson now coming back could this down the road actually be a legal issue if we are purposely not knowing know that we are putting chemicals in these foods people are eating them isn't there some sort of liability for that potentially in 10, 20 years when we know the impact? Absolutely. When they can show a direct connection to some of the diseases or problems or health issues that people are having, whether it's accumulating in kids, especially over the years, or it's causing a variety of other health issues that these particular chemicals are known to cause, if they can show that direct connection and show that companies knew about it and allowed it to move forward anyway, then, then there's potential for a liability. And, and in this particular case, you know, for the past 20 years, England, the United States, they've been pulling back on these chemicals. But again, they've allowed these, uh, these replacement ones to go forward. There aren't are no studies to show that they're dangerous or safe either way. So that's why these scientists are calling for more research. Molly, thank you for continuing to follow the story. And I really hope in 10 years we're not doing a story that you normally follow, which is the legal liability of these companies. Thanks for joining me.